Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is Microsoft Patch Day. Woohoo! <laughs> Actually, I doubt anyone gets that excited about Microsoft Patch Day. It happens every single month, and we have to go out and update a whole bunch of servers. However, you probably should get excited about Patch Day because it's one of the most important ways to secure your network. Around 90% of the, the attacks on the internet actually leverage vulnerabilities that have been fixed a long time ago. So if you do one thing to secure yourself, it should be to patch your software as often as possible. Anyway, it's the second Tuesday of the month, which of course means Microsoft Patch Day. And today Microsoft released six security bulletins, three of which they rate critical. These bulletins fix a whole bunch of security flaws in their browsers, both Internet Explorer and the new Edge browser, in a number of Windows components like VBScript, and in their Office packages. Now there's a ton of vulnerabilities they fix, but at a high level, uh, the biggest ones are probably the browser vulnerabilities. The Internet Explorer update fixes a lot of memory corruption flaws, and bad guys often use these in drive-by download attacks, where if they can just get you to come to a website with some malicious code, even a legitimate one which they might have booby-trapped, they can use these vulnerabilities to silently force code on your computer. In fact, some of the Windows vulnerabilities are similar to this. The VB scripting vulnerability, even though it's in a Windows component, is actually accessed through Internet Explorer as well. On top of that, there's some Office vulnerabilities, again, some memory corruption vulnerabilities having to do with parsing a Microsoft Office documents. Long story short, if your user downloads the wrong document, it could take advantage of one of these flaws to force malicious code on that user's computer. Really, at the end of the day, I highly recommend you install these Microsoft updates as quickly as possible. Uh, definitely prioritize the critical ones. It's important you get to the Internet Explorer ones and the Office ones, since those affect a lot of your users, and a lot of the attacks out there will be targeting those users. As an aside, Adobe shares Microsoft Patch Day and they released a security bulletin to fix 13 vulnerabilities in Flash. I won't go into all the details, but like the Internet Explorer flaws, these Flash flaws can allow malicious websites to do drive-by downloads on your computer. So be sure to get that Flash update as well, and don't forget the Reader update if you didn't get that last week. Well, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.